happened to this creepy, the mysterious, the strange, the tantalizing and paranormal world of jinn stories. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name's Dr. Kareem and today I'm here to tell you another jinn story. This story is about my grandfather. My grandfather was an Indian man but he was born in Kenya. Well, what would later become Kenya. And there's a ferry that travels from one side of Mombasa city to the other. So Lakoni Ferry connects two sides of Mombasa city and there's always been rumours of strangeness, of darkness, of unusual activities around that ferry. One day my grandfather and my grandmother get onto the ferry and the ferry begins to sail away. And not soon after begin to sail, but my grandfather feels the urge. You know the urge, ladies and gentlemen, when you need to use the restroom. So he goes down into the restroom, he goes down the stairs, gets to the restroom, and he's standing there and the lights are flickering on off on off and he's like okay but my grandfather he, he's a he's a tough guy he's like manly man he's not afraid of anything stands at the stool gets to work and then out of the strangeness out of the unusualness of it all he's turned around he's turned he's facing the other way he doesn't know what's going on he's like whoa what is this so he's like, okay, let me try it again. So he turns back around. And he's turned around. He's like, whoa, what is this? He's facing the other direction. He's like, okay, I better not. And he leaves. He goes back up to his wife. And his wife's there. My grandmother's there. Is everything okay, dear? And he says, yes, everything is fine. See, he was a tough man. And the story didn't come out for years. But it turned out there was a creature that lived in that, that ship. A creature that wasn't human, wasn't ghost, wasn't apparition. No, it was a creature known as Jinn. And it had a liking to disturb handsome looking men. So every now and then when a handsome man would go into that bathroom, it would turn them around, it would prank them, it would disturb them. And you see, my theory has always been that that gin was a female. And maybe it had a liking for handsome men. But who knows? That is another topic for another time. We are done with the show for today. So tune in next time because we'll be sharing with you an in-depth story of the life and trials of people who live with gin and beside gin and their intertwining stories throughout the fates of time. So join me next time on Jin Stories. My name's Adul Kareem. Come to goodness. Remember your Rabbul Alameen. And do not fear the Jin. So come. Goodness. Come.